Hello friends, my name is Happy. Today we are going to learn how to make a bouncing ball using processing and P vector. Before you watch this tutorial, make sure that you have processing installed. If you want to install processing, make sure to watch my introduction to processing video. Now, I am going to go into where I installed processing, which is local disk d if when you go into where you install processing you should see a folder that says processing now we double click on it and then click on processing.exe now the processing has opened I will maximize it. Now, to start, we write void setup and then void draw. And in the void setup, we write size 800,600. Now if we run this you should see this appear Now we will close it and in our processing file we write class p vector and then write float Lot y lot w which stands for width and float h which stands for height now this is going to create four variables but all these variables are undefined so we have to write p vector lot x underscore comma float y underscore comma float w underscore comma float h underscore now in the curly braces we write x is equal to x underscore y is equal to y underscore w is equal to w underscore And lastly, h is equal to h underscore. Now, this is so that we can actually use the, the p vector class. Because if we didn't add this, then we wouldn't be able to make use of it. So this would just be useless. Now we write p vector ball. And then in the void setup we write ball is equal to new p vector and then the first value are for the x and y which are 0 and 0 and the last two values are for the width and height which are 100 and 100 and then we put a semicolon Now in the void draw we write ellipse ball dot x comma ball dot y comma ball dot w comma ball dot h and then we put semicolon. What this is going to do is that it is going to get the x value of the ball. the y value of the ball the width of the ball which is this one and the height of the ball which is ball dot h now if we run this you see that there is now this now we're going to change this to 100 comma 100 and then we run this again 
You see that there is now a full circle. Now we are going to in the p vector class we write void add p vector v and now we're going to write x equal is equal to x plus v dot x y is equal to y plus v dot y w is equal to w plus v dot w and h is equal to h plus v dot h now you will see this in action later for now we are going to write p vector then which is the movement of the ball and then we write then is equal to new p vector this well is for making the ball move so we write one because if we want it to move on the x-axis comma one because we also want to move it on the x-axis y-axis comma zero so that with the width won't change, comma zero, so that the height won't change. Now we write ball dot add then, and so we put semicolon. This is going to add this to this, so and y position are going to be increasing by one if we run this you will see that the ball is now moving but it is leaving a trail behind it since we don't want that we write background 100 then we run this Now you see that the circle is not leaving a trail behind it anymore. You also see that the background has changed a bit. You see that the circle is now going off screen and we can't see it anymore. If we want the circle to be bouncing, we write. But before we do it, we are going to change this to 5 so that it can be a bit faster. So we write if then ball dot y is greater than height we're just going to get the height of the screen vel dot y equals is equal to zero minus vel dot y now we run this Now you see that it bounces off the bottom part of the screen, but it doesn't bounce off other parts. So we write if then ball dot x is greater than width then dot x is equal to zero minus bell dot x and then we run this now you see that it bounces off here and it also bounces off the right of the screen if you want it to bounce on other places we write or this stands for or ball dot y is less than zero and then we write our ball dot x is less than zero and if we run this 
you will see that the ball is now bouncing when it reaches the edge of the screen. Anyways, that is all for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel, Obercode. Bye.